I really enjoy it. I have a lot of fun when we go and build. It's a place to go after school and at lunch once in a while and to build the robot and have fun and learn about robots. The Bazinga Bots to me is just a place where I can be creative and be productive in a team. Uh, something that I can do that will help towards a goal which is to put our robot in the competition. They are a group of people that have come together to create some pretty awesome robots and pretty good times too. That's, we started out as a great learning opportunity. I was really excited to find out they did a robotics club. Um, at Branch, a bunch of strangers that really bonded over a mutual love for robotics and... The Zingerbots are a place that I can kind of dig my teeth into a big project, get some experience on what it would be like in the real world outside of just doing it as a hobby. To me, the Zynga bots are actually a perfect representation of how the students of Banting Secondary School can uh, go, come together and make something absolutely beautiful and tackle quite a complicated problem. I certainly wouldn't have ever built a robot if it weren't for them. And uh, even if it was a bit crazy and most of them came into this without too much experience, people in my grade, grade 9, the grade 10s, 11s, 12s, they helped us along and uh, now the robot's coming along and I wouldn't trade them out for any other team in the world. When doing this and kind of had to show everyone else the ropes, being the only senior programmer there. Programming started off with the drag and drop blocks that the NXT comes default, but unfortunately we found that this wasn't flexible enough language and we ended up going with a different code which is not quite C, which is actually typing out in code and using syntax and stuff like that instead of just dragging and dropping, which we found. It gave a lot more flexibility to the code and we were able to do a lot more with it than what we could do with the drag and drop. At the beginning, after we started building, I was a little scared because of the idea, so many clashing of ideas and not a lot of progress. This was partly to do with because we had a big group of people and some people had more experience than others and the people didn't always listen to each other. I thought the robot was going to be way easier than it actually was. Building the robot and trying to make sure that everything fit in place and all these little tweaks. I didn't expect it to be as hard as it turned out to be, but as far as programming, everything was as expected. I like a robot. It, it's pretty decent, I think, of the design. There's still a couple things that have to be tweaked, but overall it's decent. Our programming started out with the basics we laid down independently. We had people assigned to doing each type of line and then started making a mainframe. So we had grouped all of our programs together. We had a massive check to see if someone is too close. If someone's too close, it'll shut down. Then uh, if someone isn't too close, it will run through its checks, make sure that it has, or check the color for the next uh, piece and scan it. If it's red, it'll do the red procedure next. If it's yellow, the yellow, and green, the green. The Bazingobot robot is a punto like system with wheels pushing the popsicle step al stick along the bottom, and the pen holder is moving up and down so that it only starts and stops at certain points. And then the pen holder system is also moving the opposite direction than the popsicle stick to get the zigzagging wavy line. The Bazingabot's robots robot starts out at, with a the whole base is a conveyor belt system. And at the start, there's a wheel to start the moving of the popsicle stick. Then there's a light sensor to determine what color is the popsicle stick. And after it determines that, it decides it'll choose which line and which system of movements to do. For the straight line, it'll the once the pen gets to the certain spot it needs to start, it'll drop down and right till the end spot, then it'll lift up and flow out of the conveyor belt. 